Welcome to another Fountain Drink from Fountain of Life. Today we're in John chapter 10, and it's going to span verses 22 through 24. It says, Then came the feast of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple area walking in Solomon's colonnade. Well, the principle for today is Jesus celebrated Hanukkah, also known as the Feast of Lights or the Feast of Dedication. And again, it might be spelled uh, like uh, Chanukah or Hanukkah. And again, it's a Jewish fe uh, festival, Feast of Dedication. And again, like you said, also known as the Festival of Lights. Now, it is an eight-day festival beginning on the 25th day of the Jewish month of Kislev, which typically falls in November or December on our calendar. Hanukkah celebrates the events which took place over 2,300 years ago in Judea, which is now Israel. Now, it really begins in the reign of Alexander the Great, who conquered the uh, Syria, Egypt, Israel, but allowed lands under the control to continue observing their own religious and certain, uh, when a certain degree of autonomy. Now, under this relatively benevolent rule, many Jews assimilated uh, much of Hellenistic culture, it was a, uh, that culture of Alexander the Great, um, adopting the language, customs, and dress of the Greeks in much the same way that Jews in America today might blend into the secular American society. Now, more than 100 years after Alexander, Antiochus IV rose to power in that region, and he began to oppress the Jews severely, placing Hellenistic priests in the temple, massacring Jews, prohibiting the practice of the Jewish religion, and desecrating the temple by requiring the sacrifice of pigs, and that's a non-kosher animal, and on the, on the altar. And, and then one of the groups which opposed Antiochus was led by Matthias, and he is the Hasmonean, and his son Judah Maccabees, and he's also known as the Hammer. Uh, this small band of pious Jews led uh, what would be known like as a guerrilla warfare against the Syrian army. Uh, Antiochus sent thousands of well-armed troops to crush the rebellion, but the Maccabees succeeded in driving the foreigners from their land. According to historical documents, Jewish fighters ex entered Jerusalem in December 164 BC. And the Holy Temple, the Jewish religious center, was in shambles. Uh, defiled and desecrated by foreign soldiers. And the Maccabees cleansed the temple and rededicated it on the 25th day of the Jewish month of Kislev. Now when it that came to the relight, uh, to relight the menorah, the multi-branched uh, lampstand that we see on Hanukkah, uh, they searched the entire temple but only found one small jar of oil bearing the pure seal of the high priest, that which could be only be found. Now, miraculously, that small jar of oil burnt for eight days until the new supply of oil could be brought. And from then on, Jews everywhere have observed a holiday for eight days in honor of this historic victory and the miracle of oil. Now, the observance of Hanukkah uh, features the lighting of a special Hanukkah menorah with eight branches uh, plus a helper candle adding one new candle each night. God still does miracles to preserve his heritage of his people in this world. So let's pray to see our own heritage through. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for perseverance in persecution. Holy Spirit, help me always persevere in persecution. In Jesus' name. Well, God will see us through it, if he brought us to it. Great days are ahead. Let's be much like the Jews of that day that really cling to cleansing the temple and keeping things pious and, and holy for the Lord. Let's do that about ourselves. Let's keep ourselves set aside for the Lord, not caught up uh, in the desecration of the world. God has an awesome plan for your life, and he loves you.